Most women tend to think of intimacy a little bit differently than men. Why is that? I know there's been so many books written about this, like uh, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. And, and there's a lot of polarity in terms of men and women being different, which obviously there's a lot of differences between us. But I would like to bring maybe a bit of a different perspective. Let's go back to the old days, right? What were men inspired to do? go out, hunt, go out, defend. Like this was their role to create, to be able to facilitate the survival of their lives, right? You go out and you provide, you go out and kill the bear, you go out to war, you defend our land. That's what your role is. The role as a woman was what? To keep the home going while the man was away. Well, guess what women had a lot of time to do while the men were out hunting? They had time to talk, to talk from their hearts, to say what was going on, to communicate with one another. So it was a form of intimacy that they were able to cultivate. What did men do to cultivate intimacy when they were out hunting? It was like, you have my back, you know, I'm, I'm missing my wife, this and that, but it was more of like, go out and perform. Whereas women were the ones that kind of kept things together. They held things together in forward motion. So women really were set up to do relationship much more than men were. And so that's been passed down from generation to generation. Or, you know, think about it like when a father has to go on a trip, what does he say to the little boy? You are the man of the house, which means be strong, keep everything together. So with all that being said, men aren't really equipped to go, hey, you get to have this community where you get to share your emotions. You get to share the things that really resonate with your heart. Like none of that stuff was really uh, given to men. That opportunity was never created. And so we have generations of generations, you know, passing this down to their sons. And so it's the thing, it's the same kind of concept of, you know, men have been having to provide and defend. And so the skills that men have been equipped with really help them facilitate that role. But things change, we get bigger pots, we get different roles in society. And so what happens is we keep doing the same antiquated things that we've been taught then and we try to make them work now and they just don't work now. Why? Because we have different resources. So how does that all play into women thinking differently than men? You know, a lot of times men, you know, have been taught to do just that. And when it comes to sex, it's you're just here to procreate, right? So men would just come in and like, that's what it was for. It was like, it's to like release their tension from the battlefield, from out providing and to create children. And so it wasn't like something that they were really equipped to do in terms of romance. You know, even today, a lot of guys, you know, they just don't know. They've watched porn. That's where they've gotten their education from. No one has ever taken the time to tell them like, what sex is, how to create that connection from the heart, how to be vulnerable, how to be intimate, which are all the things that women associate with intimacy. And so not all women, but most women. And so men just, you know, it's like, okay, like this is my point of release. And a lot of guys go, I don't know how to do these things because their mothers have just told them what, be nice to women. Well, that doesn't help a man in, when it comes to the bedroom. So most women, when it comes to the bedroom, a lot of them are still in, into the mindset of like, this is where I get my connection. This is where I get my intimacy. This is where I get love. This is where I get nurtured. Now you do have some women who are just more, uh, they've also changed with times. You know, other women are like, hey, I also, they're awakened to the fact of this isn't just for a man, but this actually helps supply my own needs. And so you have some women who are also going, hey, wait a minute, like it's not just for that, I'm getting something out. And so then they become more demanding in the bedroom. But for most women, that's been their place of getting nurtured, of getting intimacy. Uh, and most men are like, I don't even know how to do that because I've never been equipped 